Mars, okay, it's 54.6 million kilometers plus away, but, um, <laughs> but I'd still, if, if I'm lucky enough to get to go, uh, I would still be able to have email communication, um, do video messaging and, uh, keep my, well, I'd still be able to tweet and, um, Instagram, all that sort of stuff um, from from Mars. So pretty cool. Like- so I got news in February in 2014 that I was shortlisted to the hundred, um, and that kind of blew me away. Wow. Um, it was. I remember exactly where I was when I was expecting the email, um, which would either be you know, <laughs> thumbs yeah. up, thumbs down, um, chambers. So Jeez. I think it's about minus. Minus one twenty, I think, is the temperature. Uh, Celsius, that is Celsius. Um, so I would spend, yeah. So I spent three month, uh, three minutes in there. Uh, so we moved up there and lived up in the outback in red sandy nothingness for uh, for seven years. <laughs> uh, very formative years for a young girl, and uh, and it was extraordinary to have the, the chance to to do that. It was central Australia for a number of years, and then up in the Tanami Desert, which is quite remote. Um, as well in the Northern Territory. To, on Mars, would never be able to go outside of the, the habitats without a spacesuit on. Wow. But there's a, great, there's a great vastness there. There are canyons there, volcanoes, uh, caves, um, extraordinary landforms. Uh, and just I could imagine how ex- amazing it would be just to, to stand there and, and be bathed in that. But as you guys know, I did this uh, food waste experiment at the start of the year this year where I... I decided to live for a week eating only the leftover food that were on other people's plates. So this is like at, at restaurants, cafes, diners and so forth. I, I specifically set myself um, exclusion zones, as in I could not eat any food from home um, and wow. I could not yeah, um, do have any water or anything like that at all. I decided to try and live um, for a whole year last year without bringing any single-use plastic into the house. So just to think about the effect that plastic is, I mean, it's, it, plastic's a fantastic thing. It, plastic really has been one of the things in modern society. Uh, we have um, sanitised, you know, healthcare systems and so forth because of the ability to, to simply um, you know, manage things in plastic very easily and they lightweight to protect things, et cetera. So a lot of, lot of benefits in plastic. But do we need as much of it as we do? In Australia, we grow enough food to feed 60 million people. And yes, yes I mean, our population our population is 24 million. I and mean, most of it's exported, of course, but there's still an excessively large amount that's wasted. They say about a third of all food grown is oh, lost yes. or wasted. It's like 30% of bananas never leave the farm. Um, one in what? two potatoes. One in two, 50% of potatoes. Wow. 